Hey everybody, and this is Streaming Viking here, and today we are here to talk about Captain Marvel, as you can see for that. and that's one thing I want to talk about. It's not really a movie review, that's probably going to come later, but there's one specific thing I want to talk about in regards to a movie and everything, but it is a social justice movie that's all pro women feminist and men weak and all the political agenda and Woke stuff that seemed ready. But it was a movie yesterday. It's fucking not about that. That's. Fuck. It's not pro feminist agenda, social justice warrior. It's fucking not. It's not. That's little to no political agenda movie. It's a box standard Marvel movie with just a female protagonist. It can be a good place everybody and nothing move or change really. It's not pro. It's sure there's a little bit of sexism, but that's. 1987 Air Force. Sex is to be respected if you know what we realized stuff regards to that. And also in regards to the whole Finally gets to cover this but it's best really not that's not pro woman, that's not men as women are strong, men weak and nothing at all. Everybody has some roles and men are not being suppressed by the strong civil free last and she's not. Yes, that's quite lovely enough. There's nothing. Only kind of politically and you can maybe see in this movie is fucking a little bit of pro immigration in regards to the scrolls. And a little bit of. Uh, is that. The cream is a little bit trumpish in regards to them. Yeah. They, they are the enemy. They are worrying about everything about them. Just you wound them first. That's the only thing you really can. Any sort of political, when that's a fucking stretch, it's not any social justice bull. So that it's a feminist movie, it's not, it's not really pro feminist, it's just a movie with female protagonists, with strong, powerful, yes, but it needs to be based on that. They do not treat her any differently in this movie because she's a woman, they don't, nobody in this movie does. It's different because. Without me, let me spoil her, regardless of the lesson, you hate her and say her we because she's, you know who said because she's human, and because she's a woman because she's human, and she's proud of that. It's really, it's a good movie, a good message for but both girls and women, you can you, you follow your dreams, don't tell anybody you can't do it, and you look at it, that's not because she's doing it because she's weird, but that's crazy, that's main character stuff. It was everything because he isn't told that because you can't do it, you're too weak. It's not because it's a woman because she's a goddamn main character. If you've been a boy, we don't understand it. It's been it's basically Steve Rogers in it, basically. If it was Steve Rogers in before Super Soldier Serum and Jackson. The same thing, it, it is in oh, mean gods. That's all really it. It's not it's not pro. It's not a social justice pro or oh, woman strong. It's not a killer. If we want to say that it's not, I keep talking about strong, woke, and it's a Marvel movie. It's okay. It's the only kind of for make a fun parody review or something like that. Hey, what? Fuck it. It's a Marvel movie. It's not. It's not the best thing ever made. It's okay. You have a. You're gonna have a good time. There's no, no politics going to ruin for it. There's only yes, but in the movie itself, nothing. The same with Black Panther, really. But people just take it as a pro woman thing, and then in this other movie, it's really not. It's really not. Hey. Maybe compared to other women, more that that DC made a pro feminist movie. This DC made a better pro feminist movie. I guess yeah, they did because it based it because Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot is the only useful character in that movie. She does it because she's a strong woman. Ugh. But yeah, everybody has well, everybody can do things and it doesn't Carol Demons is not the guiding force of this she's she's more actually more side character character to Samuel Jackson and all the others roles to Nick Fury's and all the others. He's more of a signal here than maybe main character, really. It won't make it crucible, but let's see, they're all equally important. Inside one of them. I like that, but she's the only important character in it, really. 
It's the only thing where they're allowed to do stuff. Not especially when it's a by Renner. Cat's Mountain is not a social justice movie. It's not a feminist movie. It's just a fucking Marvel movie. Don't make about politics, man. When I say about it, but the movie itself is not. In the t- text and the subtext, it's not a social just pro woman, woman strong, ah, uh, like one of them was. Because when you can actually go into it, really fucking see it. But it's just my rant take on it. But really, it's not a fucking social justice warrior think piece with strong women to lesser men. It's not. It's not really. It's just my thing on God damn it.